case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The Supreme Court's verdict not only addressed the constitutionality of the delegation of power to the EPA, but also its interpretation of that power. While the statute does not define adequate margin of safety, the EPA's interpretation, as long as it lays within the boundaries of the Clean Air Act, is supported. Whether defined to ensure against any health risk, however slight, or balanced against other considerations, it is not the court's role to define safety. The court did clarify the EPA could not consider the cost of implementing standards when setting primary and secondary air quality standards under Section 109B of the C8A. While costs may be weighed when implementing air quality measures, the statute does not allow for cost considerations when setting the standards themselves. The Supreme Court thus affirmed the Court of Appeals' decision regarding the EPA's delegated power and its ruling regarding implementation costs. However, it disagreed with the lower court's determination that the Clean Air Act lacked an intelligible principle, thus reversing that aspect of their decision. As such, the cases have been remanded back to the Court of Appeals for further proceedings. This landmark case pushes the boundaries of the interpretation of legislative power, further delineating the arenas in which financial concerns can be considered in matters of public health. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.